one of the most powerful things that can really thwart your ability to walk in all that God has for you as an artist is the pressure to make it <laughs> financially, creatively, on Instagram, you know, through your sales. I'm going to talk about why that's a big, big uh, upset for artists and how you can begin to overcome that today in your life here on 5-Minute Mentoring. Hey, my friend, so glad that you are with me here today on 5-Minute Mentoring. You know, I don't know if you've ever been like me, but a lot of times the pressure to make it, the pressure to sell, the pressure to do what everybody else is doing, the pressure to look successful and, and all the thing, all the trappings that go along with, with being a successful artist, it can be too much sometimes. It can be a lot of pressure and it can actually thwart the very gift that God has given you as a part of your design in his kingdom. Well, you know, one of the things that I've learned over the years is that the biggest way to overcome that is to change your perspective. You know, most of the time we, if you're like me, and I think most of us are alike in so many different ways, we end up thinking that this whole thing is up to us. We end up taking all the pressure on. We end up doing this comparison and competition game with others so that we feel like our life and our art career or our business has to look like theirs or my Instagram following has got to be as big as his or it's not valid enough. I've got to sell as much as they do or I'm not a valid artist. My art's got to look like theirs or look spiritual enough or look this or that enough unless it's, you know, otherwise it's not going to be seen as, as valid. And that perspective is one that literally, number one, sucks the life out of you. And number two, puts you in this striving mode where you're trying to make it happen on your own. And there's nothing worse than feeling like that because the very thing that you love to do now becomes this big burden. And you're like, I don't even want to do this anymore. <laughs> We've all been there. Well, listen, here's the beautiful thing. When you change perspective, when you begin to change how you think about life and what's possible, things can change in your life. And I want to invite you to start thinking about your life as an artist in a different way. What, of, what about instead of thinking, you know, that this is all about your story and all about you making it happen, what if you started to realize that actually this is God's story that he's invited you into? that your job is not to make it happen. Your job is to be faithful to the things that he brings to you as you are faithfully stewarding the talents, the gifts, the opportunities, the resources, the relationships that he brings your way. What if instead of feeling like you were in competition with everybody, you could embrace this idea that you actually have a divine design from the Lord that's unique, that nobody else has. And as you steward that, and as you lean into the development of that divine design, guess what? You're going to shine and the Holy Spirit's going to move through you in a powerful way. What if you begin to realize and change your perspective about the impact that you want to, you want to make in your life? And instead of thinking you got to do it all by yourself, it's actually as you cooperate with that divine design in alignment with the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit is the one that enables impact to happen in your life, not by power or not by might, but by his spirit. He's the one that brings the clients. He's the one that brings the ideas. He's the one that opens the doors that you've been trying to open for, for so many years. And what about if you begin to change your perspective on provision, that instead of having to work a dead-end job, instead of having to think that it's all up to you, that, oh, starving artists is just the way everybody's got to do it, and you know artists don't make a lot of money. What if you started actually changing your perspective to one that actually aligned with the truth of God's word that says provision is not based on performance. Provision is the promise of God to every son and daughter. And as we pursue the thing that God's designed us for in his kingdom, his promise of provision is sure. Listen, I don't know about you, but when I, when I changed perspective in my life, everything changed. Everything about my art changed. Everything about my emotions changed. Everything about the life that I was experiencing changed because I began to see life through the perspective of the kingdom. Listen, friend, you may have been hearing me talk about this for a long time, or this may be your first time ever hearing anything like this. Either way, I want to invite you to a perception changing event. It's called Artists Rise Up. We do it a couple of times a year, and uh, this is going to be super, super special. We're going to be gathering thousands of artists, Christian artists, from all over the world and just about every creative medium to change our perspective, 
to begin to align with who God has called us to be in his kingdom, to understand why God's raising up this army of artists, to kind of dismantle a lot of misunderstanding about the five biggest roadblocks that every artist uh, goes through and has to deal with in their life, how you can begin to accelerate and sustain breakthrough in your life and actually be able to do the thing that God's called you to do, to, to be a thriving artist and to be able to thrive spiritually, artistically, and in business, not mutually exclusive, but holistically at one time. Listen, this is an absolutely free uh, masterclass and art challenge. It's going to be a ton of fun. I want to invite you to be a part, all right? So click the link that's right here in the show notes. You can find out all the details. Uh, the masterclass itself actually starts on September 20th, but you can jump in the Facebook group before then and start meeting uh, you know, tons of artists from all over the world, start sharing your artwork, building relationships being encouraged and encouraging others as well. And as you do, I promise you, your perspective on what's possible, your perspective on yourself, your art, and on the Lord is absolutely going to shift. All right. I hope we see you there. I hope you'll start thinking about how you can shift your perspective to one that aligns with the kingdom of God. And I hope to see you inside artists rise up. All right. Love you, friend. Remember till next time you were created to thrive. Bye.